Hi, this is Asing. You are now watching Asing SL TV. In the previous video, we learned how to print or save a user form as PDF during runtime. And in this video, I would add another option that is save the user form as picture during runtime. Let's go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Double click on the user form that we wish to save as picture. To provide another option, we need another command button. I will make a copy of this command button and paste then make some amendment let's move to the desired position to differentiate the buttons i would change the color to yellow for example and the caption should be png file instead of pdf next double click to write the code i will first screenshot the active window that is the user form we know that this can be done by using alternate plus print screen keys and in vba this can be done by using application dot send keys method and the code to represent alternate key is the percent symbol while for the print screen key is the code 1068 we should type within braces and all these keys must be typed within quotation marks then we should give a short break in order to let the computer to process the picture that is copy the user form to clipboard before allow excel to take the next action to do so let's make use of the events and i can now close the user form by using alert me unfortunately we couldn't save or export the screenshot directly from Excel. This, we must make use of a code or action that recognized by Excel, that is, by using chart.export. To ensure screenshot is export successfully, we have to insert the screenshot on this chart. Let's get this done by using a temporary worksheet. I will make use of a dummy called WS to represent the worksheet that I added. And now let's paste the screenshot on this worksheet. Next, I would name the screenshot that I pasted as IMG, which is equal to active window dot selection. And the next step is to set it as shape which is simply equal to active shade dot shapes with the name that is the image that i have and followed by the dot name property in order to record the name we have to get this done step by step in order to avoid error during runtime for example type mismatch and we can now insert the chart that we need so that we can export it easily let's set a dummy let's say pic to be the chart to do so let's make use of active shade dot shapes and now let's add the chart by simply using add chart to and i need two arguments firstly i would change the width which is simply equal to the width of the shape secondly i would change the height which is also simply equal to the height of the shape and the statement with closing parentheses and now let's make a copy on the shape that we have next select the chart and lastly paste the shape on the chart let's make use of active shade dot paste special and the format i would use one which is to paste all and now we can export the chart but before that i would like to tell excel the exact location or the file path let me name this variable as file path and this must be equal to the location if you have no idea how to type the location don't worry let's go to the desired location and click on the address bar copy or right click any file in the desired location and click on properties then copy the location and back to visual basic paste it and end with backslash next is to type the name of this user form if let's say we wish to name the user form using the particulars 
provided by the user during runtime. Let's back to the user form. For example, I would like to make use of the first and the last name. So let's check the name of this controls. This is text box 1 and this is text box 2. Let's back to the coding part. So I would use an emphasis to connect with the first name, which is simply me dot text box 1 and another emphasis to connect with the last name but before that I will need a space type space within quotation marks and now another emphasis and connect with the text box 2 and lastly is the file format use emphasis type the format within quotation marks so the format that I need here is picture so dot png and with quotation mark and we can now export this chart by first call the chart followed by dot chart and we can now export tell excel the location that is file path and the picture should be exported successfully since we created a temporary sheet to let all this done when we have exported the picture successfully of course we have to delete it in order to delete this sheet quietly let's turn off a list to get this done we can make use of application dot displace alerts and we should set equal to false and we can now delete the worksheet quietly after we have deleted the worksheet remember to turn on alerts that is set back to true if you wish to provide a message to let the user know we have saved or export the picture successfully we can make use of a message box and follow by the message type within quotation marks and i need an icon next to this message so make a comma and follow by the type of icon for example we be information and the last thing that we need to do is we should always bear in mind that the disadvantage of using sand keys method is the number log key will be turned off after this action therefore we should turn it back to on to do so let's make use of application dot sign keys and call the number log key again we need quotation marks and type the key within braces that is simply num log and with braces and quotation mark and the coding part is now done so let's see the result call the user form provide all the particulars that i need and ask excel to save this user form as picture after a while we should receive a message saying that the form is saved successfully let's open the file and see the output and this is exactly what i want as we can see here okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you